Hi guys, so if you've ever thought about getting to 3D printing but was put off by the unboxing and having to set up your printer uh, yeah I think I've got the perfect one here a uh, nice little small box which means obviously a small little printer and I've got it sitting on my flexi spot desk which is pretty awesome because as you can see yeah it goes up and down uh, there will be another video out on the table uh, but this one is obviously all about this lovely little printer a uh, little choice of colours and well orange is my favourite so yeah, that's the one I asked for. So as you can see, this is the Kokoni EC2, uh, an all-powered smart 3D printer. Um, and yeah, I love trying out new printers, and this one was certainly fun and easy to play with. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to be giving this one to my children. That's just how easy this printer is. And it uses filament, so yeah, there's no sort of toxic smells or having to get uh, wear gloves to do anything with. Yeah, this prints things out perfectly and then you can obviously just handle them. So as I say, this really is a lovely little Diddy printer. Uh, nice and portable, nice and light. Uh, and yeah, this can sit on, well, a small, normal little shelf really. And as you'll soon see with this printer, well, once I get it out of this little packaging, uh, yeah, there really is no setup to this either. This is truly a plug and play printer, which is cool. And that's it, it's out of its box, out of its wrapping, um, yeah, just a little bit of foam on the inside there to keep it all uh, all nice and intact. Uh, it comes with obviously a power lead uh, and a few little other bits, but say, to be honest, there really isn't much to this because, well, it doesn't really need any sort of setup at all. It really is good to go straight out of the box. So there is something a little different with this, uh, this printer, and that is you don't use a USB stick to, well, to get your files onto it, uh, you use your phone which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is why this would be great for, well, children of all ages, because well, they all have phones. Um, yeah, it is just a case of scanning in the barcode in this uh, little booklet, which you'll see coming up in a second. Um, and then, yeah, following the instructions. Uh, very simple to do. I mean, I don't really use my phone much, uh, but yeah, there's only a few steps you need to do to sort of sign up and get your phone connected to, yeah, to this little printer. So it's just a case, really, of plugging in the power putting the lead in the back of the machine and yeah flicking a switch and that's it job done it comes on um, it takes a few seconds to sort of run through its little uh, well its little startup timer here and also the, the bed's pre-leveled which is great so there's no worry about doing anything with that either and it checks it every time it starts which is pretty cool and that's it yeah it really is that simple you just turn it on and then go to your phone and this is say this is where the fun bit is for anyone new to 3d printing uh, but just wants to get into it, have a little bit of a play, and I say, especially for children, uh, they'll love this because you can go online and there's like a ton of things that are sort of pre-ready to uh, to print out. So my little daughter, she loves pandas, so well, I thought I'd see what kind of a panda thing I could print out. So simply go in, type in panda. Sorry, you can't see the screen too well on whoopsie, my phone there, uh, but yeah, a few came up. Uh, I like the look of this little chap at the top left. It looked pretty cool and cute. Uh, yeah, it is a case of clicking on the uh, the image, or obviously the item that you want to print off, and then it's simply following the on-screen instructions uh, and just sort of hitting the print button and then obviously the next button. Again, you go through a few variety of things here, so you can see exactly what's sort of going on, and you can change a few things if you need to. Uh, but yeah, I was just going to leave it simply as the, the model sort of came across. Uh, let's say, yeah, push the next a few times, uh, it connects to, obviously, or I've already pre-connected it to the uh, the little printer, which again was just a case of clicking a couple of buttons. You hit start printing, and then, yeah, it starts printing. So no need to mess about with any sort of uh, software or supports or any of that kind of stuff. And the great thing with the phone is, um, yeah, it keeps you up to date on the sort of how long it's taken to print out, how long it's got to go. And there's even, <laughs> which is crazy, there's even a little camera inside this printer so you can click a button um, and obviously it's taking a little while here we click a button and you can see sort of the, the print process or how it's getting on which is really cool it sort of takes little five second clips so this is obviously five seconds of what's just happened um, but yeah it is cool that you, you can sort of check wherever you are uh, just to sort of see the print work is working correctly and say how long it's got left to uh, to take which is just yeah just amazing and as this is a filament printer, yeah, it's nice and safe to sort of watch whatever it is you're, uh, you're printing off being printed. Um, I did try and speed this up, but it came out a bit weird. And unfortunately, I don't have any sort of like time lapse 
um, sort of equipment, which is a shame because it would be fun to sort of, uh, well, to get a better view of this being printed. And again, on the phone, it tells you, yeah, it's finished. And if you are very new to printing, it also shows you a little video of, well, how to remove the uh, your little model, which is which is just great as well. I say because obviously a lot of people are new to this, uh, and yeah, the fact that this goes through every step of things, even to the fact of showing you that you pull out the actual plate. Uh, and this is quite flexible, and obviously giving it a little uh, little twist there helps make things sort of pop off. Uh, and there we go, yeah, one panda, although I had it upside down at first because I kind of forgot, well, which way it went, uh, but there we go. Uh, so yeah, just a cute little thing. I say this is obviously just a tester, just to see how it's come out. Uh, yeah, quality, really good. Uh, you can sort of see some uh, some little lines, but you can barely feel them. So yeah, it's a nice, smooth little print. And I say the fact you do this from your phone is just great, because it really does mean, yeah, it's accessible to anyone. You don't have to have a computer. Don't need all the software, all that kind of stuff. Yep, you just get this out of the box, connect it to your phone, uh, bish bash bosh, you're printing stuff off. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd go printing something a bit more 3D rather than being flat. Uh, I like the look of this <laughs> this little robot. Um, and yeah, my son would probably have this. Um, and again, it's that simple. You find the item you want, click start. It shows you sort of where it's going to sit on the uh, on the bed there. Uh, you can change a few little bits about it, but I'm just going straight in and printing it as is. Um, again, I've tried to do some speeded up footage here. Uh, this was obviously speeded up by quite a lot. Um, I think this little print was about four hours, I believe. Uh, but when you do go to print something out, obviously it tells you how long it's going to take. And I say it's great the fact you can get on your phone and you can check just how long it's going to take. Um, as well as down the bottom there, which you can't quite see because I've clicked off of it. Um, it tells you how long it's obviously left, which is, yeah, which is really awesome. So this really is a fun little printer, and I guess it is probably more aimed at sort of children, um, as I wouldn't really use this myself to print off little miniature figures, because obviously the detail's not bad on this, uh, but yeah, it's not as good as obviously uh, the resin printers for my miniatures, but yes, yeah, so to get into 3D printing, have a bit of fun, uh, yeah, this is certainly a great toy for that, and as I say, this will definitely be going to my children, um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what sort of things they sort of print out. So this little guy does have some supports on him, which just needs sort of pulling off. Um, obviously a little bit of going on there, he's got a bit of hair on his head. Uh, but yeah, again, simple enough to pull off all the uh, all the little supports, which obviously didn't take long at all, as yeah, there wasn't all too many there. So you just throw away these little bits that, uh, that come off, uh, and then yeah, you're left with a little robot. So his legs do move, and I'm sure I should be able to move his feet. Uh, but for some reason, they were a bit tight. Um, and I didn't want to sort of, well, didn't want to force them and snap them, but I'm sure they do move. So that's something I love about the uh, the filament printers. You can print out a lot of sort of movable uh, sort of toys and gizmos and gadgets, like little Rubik's cubes and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, say nice little printer, very easy to use. Definitely uh, aimed for children. I would have thought more than adults. Uh, but again, it is is a fun little thing to have sitting on your desk, and the fact you control it with your phone is just yeah really cool and I say this is very small very light so the filament comes in the back in these lovely little containers so it really is easy to swap these over and there are obviously a whole variety of colors you can get out there uh yeah very light and I say you could have this well on a shelf um you don't even really need a full table so yeah I'll definitely recommend getting one of these as a introductory sort of printer and um, definitely one say if you want to get one for your children uh, this is a great way of obviously getting them into the whole hobby as well, which is something I really love because I know my children, uh, yeah, they are going to be fighting over this. There are links down below where you can find out more information about this awesome little printer. And uh, don't forget to click on one of the other videos on the screen, guys, see more of what I do. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.